Hi students, this is your Manjunath sir. I am going to start second lesson from geography section that is culture. Let us understand and already one video on this has been uploaded but the voice is not clear uh, in background because of that reason I am repeating video okay. Let us understand. In this lesson we are supposed to discuss about the culture that we are having uh, you might have seen the pictures like this see the people who are making gathered here with different dress code different dance system and different food habits and all so this can be called as a culture in general term so about that only we are supposed to discuss okay see let us understand uh, first of all definition of culture so that here before that one we should understand how the culture has developed see let us see so this is the way how the human being has evolved or he has developed himself so earlier man was living like an animal in the forest so in this manner he started to evolve himself he started to develop he started to have his own culture so that system already we know and here in different picture the people who are living there so that vary from one to another so see here earlier man was living like a animals in the forest then he started to have his own small house then those group of the small house became the village and the village got converted into the towns and towns they become the cities now big cities they are converted so that this is how the man has evolved and this is as a result of the culture and remember here already you know that man is uh, evolved animal so the way that we are living life today so that is not born over a night or over a period of means uh, it has taken long period of time see the question arise can man live alone no and never he lives in the means of his own people so human being is a social being so already we know that man he likes to live in a society he cannot live in isolation he cannot live in the forest because of that reason we can say man is a social animal or social being also we can say because he wants to live with the other fellow people and does everyone has town home lane caste religion in your town what do you what activities do you see or uh, you do in a in your yard festival celebration we used to do vending celebration conducting fair joining the ceremony so these are the important activities that we used to celebrate and we used to do it and we used to get involved and this system can be called as a culture and remember these are the same in everywhere obviously this cannot be seen everywhere same because the culture of one area cannot be seen in another area area so because that is a culture vary from one person to another person one from one place to another place all these identified as a single concept and that is called culture now let us understand what is mean by culture so that see culture it, it includes belief language indian culture uh, sorry uh, rituals behavior religion path food drama art attitude so these can be called as a culture remember here even language is a, a kind of culture we can say now let's understand meaning of culture culture means a life pattern of the group of the people remember so this is very simple term has been given simple definition of the culture is given life pattern that we are living in the group then that can be called as a culture see the word culture is taken from or derived from the latin word that is colere remember here colere it is a word which can be seen in the latin language and from this latin language then culture word has been derived so because of that is an we can say the culture this word has been taken from another language that is a latin colere means cultivated or tend so this is the meaning of the culture in latin language now according to a sociologist that is eb taylor the culture is that the complex whole which includes the knowledge belief art rules regulations traditions and any other capabilities earned by the human being as a member of the society the tool created by human being 
to design his aim of the life is called culture so this is the definition which has been given by the famous sociologist that is eb taylor okay according to this person the culture it includes knowledge of knowledge of a person belief that person is having in art rules regulation traditions and any other capabilities which are earned by human being so this can be called as a culture and the tool created by human being to design his aim of the life is also can be called as a culture and this is said by another sociologist and now let us understand nature of the culture so what are the important natures that we can get to see in the culture see the culture means life pattern of the group of the people already we have seen this is the in definition of the culture and reflect the performance of many fields like in literature it can be seen in art science folk in many other field also the culture aspect can be identified very easily the total ex- uh, total extent of all the aspect respect of the feeling for the uh, of the communities transform from one generation to another generation culture has in, uh, com- a community accepted signals can be seen and culture it goes on making the changes slowly okay here in the picture you can get to see the culture it varies from one person to another person from one place to another place thinking belief language so these all can be called collectively as a culture now let us understand types of the culture so there can be two types of the culture one is material culture and another one is non material culture material culture is created by human being by converting natural resource into the man made structures and like for example food house building bridge road dam machine production center industries computer technology and so on others can okay, remember these are called as a material culture here obviously these are things which can be touched and these are made by man okay these are created by human being by converting natural resource into the man made structure or man made resource next one it is an eye catching things material culture is called civilization obviously it can be means these things no these can be seen or even you can touch them then you can say food dam buildings roads that we can see which were being used by human being this can be called as a culture and these are material culture okay unseen achievements of the human human being or human made they can be called non material culture non material culture undergoes slow changes day by day non material culture cannot be touched and example tradition belief ritual custom moral values ideals religion and language so these are these are non material culture and which cannot be touched obviously we cannot touch the belief we cannot touch the customs and we cannot touch the religion so these are called non material culture let us understand features of the culture so that culture is abstract one and explanation on this will be given further and social uh, culture can be seen in social means in society only the culture aspect can be identified so without society we cannot expect any significance of the culture so that we can say the culture and society both are two sides of the same coin even culture is a learned one whatever the culture that we are having so that is not uh, that has not come to us by birth so it is a learned one next one the culture is coexistence we can say it is another important feature and it is a continuous one in dares so these are the important uh, features of the culture that we can identify let us understand let us give the example about the feature i mean uh, yeah culture remember so what are the important features explanation on that is being gone okay the culture means accepted way of life is carried on from one generation to another generation like language religion original behavior, uh, belief even thoughts also we can identify and abstract which we cannot see it okay which we cannot 
touch it okay so that is called abstract and culture is a social one second aspect obviously culture can be seen only in the society and the society exists when there is a good culture culture is not personal one it means then sharing the communities we have life good food dress rituals living with the, them so this can be called as a Uh, important feature of the culture and culture is a learned one the culture doesn't come by birth it is not the nature made either this gets formed in the interaction with the various members of the society and learning through the socialization process for example respecting the teachers and elders following the religious aspect so these are the important things which are learned by the human being by living in the society because of that reason we can say culture is a social social one the culture provides opportunities to every individual to share his ideas with others this culture assures sharing the opportunities this ensures sharing of the uh, traditions values knowledge belief and other aspect necessary for man existence so you can see people are living they are having the discussion and the same all the people they are living with other human being so that is called coexistence culture is continuous one the culture sustain itself up to the, uh, up to until the human being uh, human society the new one will be joining and recovering the some of the elements wearing the chudis instead of sarees and changes in the religious ritual so by this we can identify culture is not a static one it is a continuous one it is a dynamic aspect it, because it goes on changing whatever the culture today we people are having so those culture tomorrow they may get vanished and they may be replaced by different and new culture because that is an culture is a continuous one dynamic one culture is a diverse obviously okay why because the culture is not same everywhere it vary from one person to another person from one place to another place and every social group has its own culture and the culture is not uniform the so aspects of the culture differ from the society to the society considerably rural urban and tribal societies now let's understand importance of the culture so that culture is treasure of the knowledge and it explain the situation define the values of for the human being next one explain the behavioral models for the small children or generations to come so these are the important of the culture means they will culture will provide good behavior good values good culture to the generations to come okay it tells us how different human beings live more than the uh, more than the animals and birds and it teach it teaches the way of life changing and provide the um, uh, complementary knowledge for the social development guidance for the next generation provide the necessary knowledge for the social and physical ex- existence so these are the important of the culture okay because of that reason everyone wants to get the good culture in and this culture can be seen everywhere in the world so, i mean in all countries we can see and the culture explain the situation the it into the social system of the different situation it is also demonstrate how to live into the physical situation lifestyle of the human uh, himalayan mountain uh, lifestyle of the desert and forest people obviously it will explain see the people who are living in the desert area they are having different culture and the people who are living near by the himalayan mountain or in deccan region so they are having different culture okay and culture define the values in the society it reveals the human relation and how to live how to respect others so that is taught by the culture and it teaches culture teaches us love honor trust and faith and teaching values to the community whole remember here whatever the values that we are having in our community i mean community in the sense that is in a society so those values are given to this generation by the culture okay and compliance is compulsory for everyone okay so these are the important things how the culture is important for the society that you can understand with the help of these points okay culture explain behavioral model culture provides the aim means to achieve them to the human society it support those behavior behaviors that are complementary to the social aims 
similarly it punishes those behavior uh, behavior that are against the social aims like theft murder and deception deception means obviously cheating okay so these are completely banned and if somebody getting involved in these bad culture and the culture will punish those people the punishment will be given okay so this is called good culture okay next one the relationship between culture and society is very mutual one the culture is based of evolution of the uh, man being culture is a part and parcel of the human society and culture is individual individual part of the society human interaction is based on the culture without culture human society is incomplete obviously as i said earlier culture and society both are two sides of the same coin one is incomplete without another one so because of that reason both are important and two face of the same coin already as i said earlier so these are the important aspect which are very very important okay culture makes human being different from other animals obviously and without culture there is no society and without society there is no culture and social control in society are based on the culture aspect and social control defines the human behavior individuals in the society have mem- have the members in various social institutions every instance regulate the behavior of individuals through its culture cultural tools for example our interaction with elders are guided by the culture prevalent in our families as well as society so how to face how to guide i mean how to respect to the elders teachers and our parents in a family so that these kind of the values are taught by our culture whatever the culture that we are having so these culture that will teach next generations to come about the good behavior okay because of that reason the culture is very very important in order to keep society in a right manner and important signals of the cultural rituals we witness one or other cultural rituals every day obviously the culture strengthen the humanitarian relations and the culture is cause of the food prosperity and influence of the human society culture is also the window for the entertainment obviously remember so whenever there is a celebration in a home in our family obviously that will give i mean entertainment for the everyone or family members and the sharing the gesture culture removes the personal hatreds and jealousy if two people are having any bitterness among them then culture will teach them to have the good behavior and make them understand each other and it increases the relations between the human being strengthening the social relationship and culture is a symbol of the skill culture is most emotional factor for the people's people's life and like for example fair religious ritual so that remember if you want to understand the culture then culture then while studying about the culture then we are not studying about the culture we are learning about our own life our own family because we are part of society and the society is having a culture which means that we are learning about ourselves our society our culture our dress code our language our behavior so this means we are learning ourselves so here you can get to see the various pictures which are being seen on the screen uh, which reveals that people are having different culture different aspect and different dress code different dance system so these are as a result of culture and gives the description of the fair that you have saw so that we fa- we see the fair in our rural area obviously the most of the people they join together in that fair and the fair fear devotion de- uh, devotion religious belief can be seen in that fair and there is a enter- entertainment can be seen in that fair the people participate in the fair irrespective of their caste creed language and place of the birth and it is a place where the agricultural produce is sold even those are bought fair shows the people with a different language so because of that is an whenever we see a fair so that shows the how cultural people people gathering together without any consideration of their caste creed language place of the birth again this picture can show us that there is unity among diversity 
obviously diverse diversified culture we may be having but the thing is that people are having people are having their own culture but still they are having a feeling of the oneness and that is the beauty of india because that is the reason why we used to call the, there is unity in diversity so important importance of the cultural diversity this aspect i will be covering in your next video uh, because of that reason today i would like to stop here only thank you all